Hi guys, today we're in the garage doing uh, a couple words on uh, Kreft Moto um, custom suspension, specifically their RC valve setup. And um, I thought I would just share some words on my experience with Kreft Moto and their suspension products. And uh, yeah, in an open, you know, real way. So um, I'm not getting paid to talk about Kreft Moto. I'm just like your average 41 year old guy who loves to ride dirt bikes and uh, feels like they that he does it at a pretty pretty high level for like you know an enthusiast rider. Um, I paid full price for uh, my Kreft Moto suspension. Um, I have like 43 subscribers to my YouTube channel, um, so I just wanted to share some good information. So I'm a real person. Uh, I love to ride dirt bikes. We're in a real garage. It's not some stage right for a YouTube channel. And uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts. So, um, you know, there's a lot of videos out there on custom suspension um, and what it does. And some of them I feel are, are genuine. A lot of them are not, you know, a lot of them are just trying to sell you a service. Uh, I don't think a lot of people talk about um, who custom suspension is really for and the type of person that can get a lot of value out of custom suspension. So I just wanted to share my story and uh, share my thoughts about my experience with the craft. And, uh, you know, it's not really a review, it's more of words, um, you know, just some words from, from me. So um, to, to, to make a long story short is that the Craft Moto is an awesome company and they provide an awesome product that in my opinion is well worth every penny. Um, that's that's kind of the synopsis. So. Um, you know, my experience with Kreft, I had no experience with Kreft prior to this. Um, I have 162 hours on this bike. Uh, at about 130, I, I decided, hey, I want to rebuild the front. It's starting to feel a little soft and a little wrong. And uh, I kind of had two options, right? I could decide to rebuild the suspension to OEM specs for $400 to $500, or I could go ahead and just put in their custom RC valve and have them rebuild the suspension at the same time. So I decided that I, I wanted to go the custom suspension route and I don't regret it and and it's awesome. So my process with Kraft, with Kraft was really straightforward. I just picked up the phone, I called them. Um, they asked me questions about what I was doing, what kind of rider I was, what I wanted the suspension to do, what my frustrations with the current stock suspension was. And uh, yeah, we just had like a 30 minute conversation and I felt like they really listened to what I wanted and uh, they really heard me out. and. Um, and I was convinced they could help me out. So I went in that direction. They were about three weeks out. Um, you know, typically people send their suspension to them. I'm local, you know, I'm about 25 minutes away. So they said, hey, you know, we'll call you three days before we can start and uh, you can drop off your suspension. And then when it's ready, you can just pick it up. And I went ahead and did that and it worked out really well. So I got my suspension about three days later and, um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's been awesome. So a little bit about these two bikes is, this is a 2018 250XC. It's kind of my workhorse. I use it on my uh, mini enduro cross track I have here at my house. And then I also do more technical riding with it when I do some technical riding. Uh, and then I, I do some, some, you know, dual track desert riding, which is pretty common around here. This is my 2019 450SX um, that's been somewhat massaged into an off-road bike. Um, stock suspension, uh, it's a pretty savage bike. Uh, the suspension is not perfect for off-road riding, but it's acceptable for the type of riding out here. Um, yeah, it's an awesome bike. Uh, it's, it's not for everyone, but it is, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. But the 250 is my workhorse, and that's the bike I ride the, uh, the most. Again, it's got currently 162 hours. This bike has 62 hours. I have about 30 hours on the Kreft Moto suspension, so I feel like I can give you know my thoughts at this point. So I um, got the call. I picked up my suspension. Uh, they were super thorough uh, talking me through their process and their product and, and uh, you know how they establish a baseline for you on what depending on what you want to do and how to work your, how to work your way up and down that baseline. So they give you a bunch of documentation, which is really helpful and really thorough. And so uh, it's awesome in that sense. I felt like I walked away really being uh, given a good service and really good attention to, to what I wanted. I had a really good feeling from them when I walked away. So put the suspension on. 
I set it up. It was already set up for me, but I just double checked everything. And then I went out and I rode my uh, mini enduro cross track that I have here. And right off the bat, um, the suppleness, the first third of the stroke of the fork was vastly improved over the stock suspension, right? So the stock suspension is, is good out of the out of factory. Um, it, it, uh, the air fork has a fair amount of adjustability with the different air pressures. If you try to pull this, if you try to make the fork more supple in the first third part of the stroke, you have to drop air pressure and that causes other problems. Um, it's, it's workable, but it's not, it's not awesome. Um, especially if you're, you're wanting the suspension to be supple and also absorb big hits, which, which I do. Um, that's kind of where it falls short. So right away I could tell, hey, the suspension was way more supple in the first third of the stroke. Incredible, it just floated over things. But then when I went to hit big, you know, big flat landings or something like that, the suspension just held up really well, rebounded, rebounded really well, was super predictable. Um, yeah, it was pretty incredible. I played some with the settings here on my track. I went a little stiffer and a little softer, and I kind of got the sense of what, what happens when you mess with the clickers. And uh, they were pretty close to, to, I think, what I wanted as my baseline. I think I went a little firmer for my track because there's some big hits, that, uh, some big flat landings that I like to hit. Um, but they were dead on. And, and as I played with the suspension, making it softer for some of the trials-type obstacles, it really responded, and it really, the range of adjustability is incredible in this RC valve. Like, it's a, that's one of the huge advantages of this suspension is just the range of adjustability. And I think as, as a more advanced rider where I am doing trials type obstacles, and then I'm also doing, you know, uh, you know, relatively, you know, aggressive jumps onto flat and hitting, hitting things pretty hard and expecting the suspension to hold up. I think that's where the suspension really shines because you can, um, within a certain like setting, that range is really good. You have suppleness and hold up, but then the the overall range of making suspension really soft or really stiff is also massive. Like it's way bigger than you can do with the clickers on stock suspension. So uh, pretty awesome. I was I was very impressed just with like you know riding for a couple hours out here. Uh, then I took the bike out to a local trail here. The local trails here in Central Oregon are kind of like double track, open, sandy, rocky, embedded rock type riding, mostly faster with some maybe somewhat technical sections, right? Um, but generally higher speed, right? Third, third gear and above. And uh, stiffened up the suspension a little bit and man, it was awesome. I would say the suppleness of the suspension like really shines when the terrain gets uh, chopped up and the front tire just floats over things. It, I could never get the stock suspension to do that, even remotely come close to doing that. Uh, the best I was able to do is, is lower the air pressure in the front. That helped a little bit, but it caused all kinds of unbalanced, pro, uh, lacking of balance issues when you came into turns breaking hard. And it, and it just it just didn't, I just couldn't get the stock suspension to be supple, supple and firm at the same time, if that makes any sense. So. What the RC valve does and the custom suspension does is it, it allows you to float over the chatter, but then it also holds up really well on large impacts. And it gives you this level of confidence to hit things and maintain your line that stock suspension just never has. Um, it's truly awesome. I mean, if you go and you look at reviews for cone valve suspension, you'll hear guys saying that, right? Like what the suspension does is it gives you comfort and then it gives you that extra margin of safety when you hit something slightly wrong or slightly at an angle or slightly too hard, that suspension just kind of soaks things up instead of deflecting out of the way and pushing you off. And that's what this does. It, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's, you know, it makes, it makes riding stock suspension, even suspension that's been adjusted well, just feel uh, like a real step backwards. And honestly, my only disappointment with the whole experience is, uh, that I want to do it to my 450 now, and I'm not quite ready to do that, but, um, but it's kind of a, a harsh reality when I go and I ride this suspension off-road. Uh, it was never very good to begin with because it's an SX bike, uh, but now it seems that much more worse with, uh, with the Cruft suspension. So I think that's my only regret. I think this is ideal for guys who, um, one, are good enough to know the limitations of stock suspension, two, are good enough to um, 
kind of elaborate and discuss what the shortcomings of stock, of stock suspension are so Craftmoto can tune what you need into their custom suspension. And then three, for guys that are wide, riding a wide range of terrain, you know, anything from trials like obstacles to motocross style jumps or large hits on an enduro cross track, right? The range of adjustability in the suspension is incredible. And, uh, and you can truly have one bike that performs very well across a huge range of requirements and suspension. I think that's who it's for. I, I don't think it's for a novice rider. Um, I think you get a little bit of comfort if you're a novice rider, you'll get more comfort, but you just won't be able to exploit the true value of, of uh, custom suspension. So if you're a good rider and you've kind of explored the limits of stock suspension and you're ready kind of to go to the next level, then I think this is an incredible uh, modification and option to do. Um, I'm sure if you call Kraft, they'll be as good with you as they were with me and deliver an awesome product. So. I could not recommend it more um, if you're ready to go to that, to that, you know, to that, to that next level. And I keep saying that because, you know, as I ride the suspension more and more, those are the words that kind of keep coming back to me is, is, is next level. Like this bike is now next level. Like it's at the next level of ability. It's going to, it's allowed me to ride that, to, to take my riding to the next level with confidence, you know, and margin of error. And that's what the suspension does, and it's, it's, it's awesome. It's an awesome product. I'll, I'll let you guys decide if the value is there for you, but I know it's there for me. And I can tell you that um, if I'm going to pay $500 for a standard rebuild, I might as well pay 1000 and get custom suspension. It's, it's worth every penny, and I strongly recommend it. So, again, I'm just a guy who likes dirt bikes. Uh, take my feedback for what it's worth, uh, but I've been only happy with this, uh, with this setup. And, uh, and I'm already looking forward to doing it to this bike. So there you go. That's, that's my thought. And those are my thoughts. And that's like, uh, yeah, I guess that's my review on Kreft Moto Suspension. It's really only good.